Planet Zoo has been rated E10 plus by the ESRB for crude humor, mild blood, and mild violence. It is generally suitable for people aged 10 years and up. Hey there folks, this is Jack. Welcome back to the zoo. Your hogs are fighting for dominance. Okay, well, we get, should do something about that. Um, the plan for for this session is to in, to add uh, sable antelopes to the zoo. Should not be that complicated to build. Okay, we've got three that are elderly. And these two are fighting, no doubt. Well, you know what we can do? We can do this. One, two, three. We've got a male and two females, and we're going to release them, I think. I'd rehome them, but for some reason it's not giving me the options. So we'll just do it that way. Okay. I think what we're going to do here is we're going to end up replacing all of our hogs. So let's go looking for Ron. Hey, there they are. Okay, we're going to need a male. And we're going to need a couple females. These two were the ones that we already had. I'm going to go ahead and send them away. That might turn off our signs. No, it didn't turn off our signs. It's a good thing. Turn off our... It did turn this off, though. All right, well, that's okay. We'll fix it as soon as the hogs come back. There we go. Weird the way this works. Okay. So let's see, what else do we have? Teal of the Jim's Buck has matured. Let's go ahead and release her to the wild. The platypi are fighting because of overcrowding. They've been successfully breeding. Platypi. Yay. All right. So I think what we're going to do is we're just going to put everybody on birth control first to keep from producing more babies. Baby. All these are kids. We'll keep the kids and release all of the adults into the wild. So there. The saltwater crocodiles are fighting. That's never a good thing. Okay. Put the adults on birth control. Release the other male to the wild solve that problem. Okay, so like I said, we're going to be adding the sable antelope to the zoo. Now the problem that there is a basic problem with adding antelope to your zoo, and that is it's very difficult, and I mean hard, damn hard, to differentiate your antelope habitats because Antelope are antelope are antelope. Doesn't matter if you're dealing with the adax or the sable or the 
Gimsbach or whatever, they all basically want the same thing, which means your habitats often will turn into clones for one another. But what I'm going to do here is I'm going to try and mix it up a little, okay? First, we're going to add... First, we're going to add this. All right, right here. Okay. Then we're going to drop this down some. like that okay now I'm just trying to make it visually interesting here I'm not trying to you know do do major landscaping you know like I said I just want some terrain now, to give you an idea of what kind of space we're talking about, literally, that's as much space as we need. <clears throat> that is literally as all the space we need for these animals. And I'm talking four adults. That, that's it, right there. We are, of course, going to give them more than that. But for the purposes of a healthy population of sable antelope, this is it. This is all you need. But like I said, I'm going to give them more. A lot more. Oh, hold on. Bell's whining about something. That's, that's the cat. Hold on. Bell! Come here, baby. What's the matter? I know you don't need food. I just fed you. I don't know. She's whining about something. She probably is on the wrong side of a door. She does that a lot. I'm sure all you cat owners out there know what it's like when your cat thinks that she, she, she's on the wrong side of the door and thus, um, you know, is like, no, I need to be on that side. Let me on that side. Open the door for me. And my brother opened up his bedroom door and she walked right in, right into it. She just wanted to go into his bedroom. So you see, it does happen. All right. Now, don't worry, I'm getting rid of the squares. I just wanted to space it out. All right. So that's, that's the space I'm giving these animals. We're going to be borrowing some fences as normal. I'm going to use these for the back fences. Or at the very least, the side fences. Because I think what I'm going to do for the back fences is going to be unique. All right. Okay, so our line here is not quite straight, but it'll work. It'll still work. Better too long than too short. Okay, so. Cockroaches has died. All 
probably should check on that just to make sure that like my cockroach exhibit isn't empty. Now, I don't like making boxy habitats, but it's one of those cases where it's almost impossible to avoid. Uh, this is a problem I'm facing more and more since I had my problem. It's that I'm having trouble judging straight lines. That's better. That sounds like somebody's fighting. And they are. He's injured now. Don't necessarily need this to be straight across. That right there is just fine. I like that. That looks good. Okay, so. Now, one thing I do want to do, however, is this. Just because it would be, it would be what uh, an actual zoo would do.
Now, there's absolutely no hope in hell of the antelopes getting through this space. These mesh barriers are for keeping humans out. Yeah, these 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 walls are specifically designed to keep the humans out. The humans are idiots. And there would be some jackass who was like, "Oh, well, it's just a deer." Yeah, deer kill more people in the United States every year than any other animal. That's a fact, by the way. You can look it up.
Okay, getting the barriers done as usual. Most of these are straight lines because, like I said, this this habitat's basically box. Why is it uh, why is it obstructed? Oh yeah, because this game is stupid sometimes. Just like that, it's not obstructed anymore. Isn't that magic? Right, the path. Now we do have quite a few sable antelope. Two, three, four, five adults. But I don't think I'm going to use all of them. I use the, the juveniles. And I use three of the adults, but I'm not going to use all five adults. Sable. Antelope. Habitat. My spelling is improving. Of all the things, of all the ways I, I thought I would ever be affected by a stroke, having my spelling degrade was not one of them. I love how they bark like that.
not enough short grass, or too much short grass, which have which is it's too much short grass, not enough long grass, not enough soil. Okay. Go. Put it in zone two. S A D L E N T L. Otragus Niger.
Now, I like the look of this because the hill gives, you know, gives them a, a place to stand that's high and allows the guests, who eventually will probably maybe come down here to look. We had a dingo death. Okay, so we need a new male dingo. By Akandias, Jacob. You're a good boy. Now, granted, sable antelope aren't the most exciting animals in the world, so as you can see, we're not getting a rush of guests to the new animal. But eventually they'll filter over. I'm sure. But yeah, as I was saying, you know, it doesn't, it's not the most artistic or prettiest, but it's, it's nice. It, it fulfills all of the check boxes and it does give some interesting viewing chances with the antelope being on the hill like that. A couple of problems. No. Now let's see. I'm going to figure out what I want to do next. I've got a whole lot of antelopes in here. A ton of flamingos. You know what, I think it's going to be time for something more exciting than just the sable antelope or other antelopes. So next time, we're going to start zone 3. We're going to start it over here. I think in this area. And, uh... I don't know yet. What should we include? Something... Grassland or desert? Ooh, there we go. That's an idea. But we'll start expanding this way in the next episode as we add zone three. I've also got some sand cats I could add. Sand cats are cute. They look like house cats. Vicious, bloody predators, but they look like house cats. All right, we've got some guests coming out. An educator. There we go. We'll add, we, we will start adding to zone three, which will be on the other side of the park over here in the next episode. 
want to thank everybody very much for watching. Okay, folks, that'll do it for this session of Planet Zoo. Thank you very much for watching. I do appreciate it. If you liked what you saw, please hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. And if you want to leave a comment, please feel free to do so. I love hearing from all of you. I will see you in the next episode. Bye-bye. The jungle, as old and as true as the sky The forest protected shall prosper The forest neglected shall die You have an aptitude to change attitudes Cause we have to prove it That's right, it's too grab your shovel Let's work to do the world's in trouble You gotta build